Hello everyone, my name is Shin Mantagzo. Welcome back to another video and right now we are about to get into some serious, very important stuff and that is the revamp or rework of two of the most well-loved heroes and contested picks in Mobile Legends. So let's jump right into it. So you go to Heroes in the advanced server and we got revamped Layla and revamped Alucard. Yes, I never thought this day would come but there you go, they, they are reworking Layla and also this guy. And as you can see, they're almost done, I guess, with revamping old heroes. So good job, good job to Moonton and thank you so much for continuing to update the game. So in this video, we're gonna focus on revamp Alucard and revamp Layla. Let's check what they look like in the hero presentation. All right, no animation yet, and I'm guessing this is the in-game model. They don't have a model yet for this uh, shop preview but they changed her weapon and she looks a lot younger now so uh she's a uh, fbi protected now but looking at the weapon i kind of miss the cannon one but this is okay i guess on the other hand we have zilong and he looks like this so yeah this looks like an in-game model he looks like a disney character bad guy type of dude but yeah aside from that i don't see a lot of changes same theme maybe they change the sword a bit and i guess we'll just wait for the hero presentation to be made as well for alucard here the revamped alucard all right so we are in game and we're gonna first take a look at layla and this is her in-game model it looks much much better realistic hair physics right there yo this is the best part of the revamp i think so um yeah aside from that her theme like her colors look the same but they did very good in the animation wise of her running so and that's her weapon too it looks good in game as well so why don't we check out her skills see what changed let's start with her skill one so skill 1 looks like this, so I think it has about the same range, right? Animation wise, it's great. It's a different projectile now. It looks much, much more well made. And also, if you noticed something, something happened when we hit an enemy. So if you hit an enemy with uh, skill 1, your range for basic attack will increase. So my range is like this, right? That's my basic attack range. Now, if you hit an enemy, the screen widens and you get a longer basic attack range for 3.5 seconds. So they moved her passive now on her skill 1, I guess. So that means that even at early levels in game, you don't have to reach level 12 to have or enjoy a longer basic attack. That is definitely an advantage for her. So like if you're a crazy dude and you're level 1, you want to hit that tower immediately. As soon as you can, hit something and then the tower, you can hit the tower even at level 1. Your basic attack range is increased every time you hit something with skill 1. So yeah, but don't do that. Don't, don't freaking hit the tower at level 1. It doesn't make any sense. Alright. And just to double check to see if her skill 1 can still crit. Because that was a big thing about Layla. Her first skill can crit, right? So yeah. Indeed it can. There we go. So I'm glad they kept that. And I think it looks sweeter now. And much, much more cooler with the new effect of the long range or increasing your range. I love how you can compare the old Layla versus the uh, new Layla one now. But let's talk about her skill too. So uh, the range of this thing has severely increased. So look at that, that's super long range. And that is because the higher the level of your ultimate, this ultimate, the longer the range of your skill too. And also your basic attack. So this is the range at level 15, right? Max level of your skill too. And this is the range for level one right so it's pretty pretty big difference right there but let's see what this new skill does or what they did to make this skill two better so aside from the longer range your second skill initial hit will still be area of effect me meaning you can damage everyone in the area around your first target and if you hit that enemy with a glowing mark above them since you hit them with skill two already another effect additional effect will, will happen that mark will explode and damage everyone around that target and also slowing them down in the process but yeah that's basically it super uh, long range now and additional effect additional potential damage 
if you can uh, land this skill in a crowded area, then yeah, it's gonna be devastating since uh, you got area damage initially and then explosion damage afterwards after hitting the marked enemies. But that's basically it. Why don't we check out her ultimate? And her ultimate looks like this, so it's still the same long range KS skill. And it has a different animation now, so why don't we check it out? There we go. <laughs> Did she just do a backflip there? All right, let's 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 take a look at that again. Yeah, she definitely did. Wow, that is that is awesome. Plus points for being crazy. But basically, that's it. It's a long range area linear damage that you use to secure kills or deal high damage in one burst. Aside from that, passively, this skill. As you level it up, it will increase Layla's basic attack range aside from the temporary increase from skill 1, right? So this passively increases her basic attack range and also increases the range of skill 2. And for her passive, it's simply just uh, increase in damage now whenever you are farther away from the enemies. So for example, you're like, like this close to the enemy, you deal this damage. Right, 270, right? 270, 270, 268. As you get closer, it's uh, it gets weaker. But if you get like far, far away, your maximum distance 316. So that's a lot of increase. And this applies to all of her skills. For example, um, skill one, 572, right there. If you go far out or far away, 686. Same with uh, ultimate, 1094, and then if you move away, a little back away, 1300. So yeah, it's a big increase, especially when you get when you get items. And with that, let's check out Alucard this time, the other hero that got revamped. So goodbye, Layla, for now with your bouncy hair. We'll see you in the original server when you get updated, I guess. Alright guys, so this time it's Alucard. So in game, he doesn't look like he changed much, but yeah, still a uh, still pretty good animation right there. I mean, I don't play Alucard a lot, but uh, this definitely looks like a better model, better walking or running animation. So we'll check out his skills and we're gonna start with his passive. So the passive is still the same. If you hit an enemy with a skill like this, you can dash to the enemy and yeah deal damage I guess so the passive also gives you bonus damage when using skills if you're against one enemy if you got uh, two Layla's here that you hit this is the damage but if it's uh, a lone Layla alone in a dark alley this is what the damage will do you got some extra overlapping damage right there and like I said if you hit an enemy you can basic attack from a long distance so the basic attack that animation changed definitely it's a stab now there we go poking the enemy from behind from long ranges so that is the passive the skill one it looks like it's the same it's a jump skill maybe they changed the animation let's take a look at it first ah there we go it's not a high jump anymore but it looks awesome it's a somersault there we go all right so you can still go over walls like this right okay great so with this skill, you still deal damage, right? And you can activate your passive. There we go. And it's an area damaging, slowing skill. It's a movement slowing skill, which is very nice. But that is it. I mean, that's basically what it is right now in the original server, right? Now moving on with the second skill, I've been showing it earlier. So this is the second skill. Still a roundhouse slash attack that damages everyone around you. And that's basically it. A Whirling Slash, Alucard slashes at nearby enemies, dealing damage. But for Alucard Skill 3, it's completely different. It's a different thing now. So, so Skill 3 looks like this now. You don't really need a target to activate it. It's just an area effect, right? So we can like target two Layla's and give them marks. There you go. So this mark it doesn't really um, make sense right now. If I mark an enemy like that, I deal damage. I, mean, I deal like damage and life steal, right? So that's good. Now, if I don't hit an, a target with a mark, 
I still deal damage and uh, life steal. So it's pretty weird. I guess we better wait for some description updates. Um, but basically, with this new ultimate revamp, it's gonna be pretty good. You don't need a target to have or activate a physical life steal. And aside from that, of course, they keep the they keep the final attack that you can do with Alucard's ultimate, the slash uh, wave slash. Which is uh, pretty awesome. It's his uh, trademark. So yeah, that is it everyone. What do you think about uh, the changes for Layla and Alucard right here? I think it's pretty sweet, especially the Layla one. She may not have any dashes or blink skills, but her damage output is definitely gonna go over the roof. So I love it. For Alucard one, I, I'm not sure if this is the final revamp. I hope not because I was looking for some changes like not just animation changes but changes in his skill 1 and skill 2 as well. But hey, what do I know? Maybe he's perfect right now. Maybe that's why they only changed his ultimate because he's perfect. So what do you think Alucard makes? So, Again, guys, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Who's who's a better revamp, Layla or Alucard? And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you come back for more when we uh, make a video about the new hero, Khalid, right? So again, my name is Shinman Tagazo. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.